Welcome Cancer, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using soul truth, what is it, soul truth, well self awareness, oracle of the seven energies and Osho Zen Tarot. So Cancer, whenever you find this video is when you were meant to find it, okay. Right, so let's get into this, we want three cards for Cancer please, three cards for Cancer. One, on the floor, two, and three. Okay, let me pick these up. Okay, Cancer, so the first card we have here is, what are the dominant emotions that run my life? Second card here is, on whom am I placing blame right now? Third card is, do I surround myself with people who lift me up. Okay, so let's start with the first one here. What are the dominant emotions that run my life? Okay, so this says, how do you fill your day? Stress or joy? Trust or anger? Anxiety or peace? We only have today, right now, the journey. No goal, no destination will bring us the feeling we seek. That's so true. But when we begin filling every day with that which we value most, we will attract more of it. This is fulfillment. So the action for today, for yourself, is lean into what you want to feel and adjust your life, your values and your expectations to match your desires. What do you want to feel? What, oh, sorry, are you willing to let go of the belief that you have to achieve something to feel it? Good point. Good point. Okay, so what are the dominant emotions that run my life? Okay, so let's have a look further into this, Cancer. On the floor. On the floor, can I see it? Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, any more cards for the dominant emotions? There we go. Okay, these are super cool. I like this. So the first card that came out is Oracle's Gift. The Oracle's Gift. The first thing that springs to mind is tea leaf readings. Tea leaf readings readings but it's also this thing of like what are you putting in your cup which is interesting because it's not like a normal kind of like ace of cups sort of thing that I would get from this but I'm, what I'm seeing here is this growing something is growing out of this and I suppose in the sense of your emotions here Cancer it is looking at, look at this, at the bottom of the deck here, harmony. Is harmony growing out of your cup? Is that what you are putting into your cup that is going to come out tenfold? Tell me more about the Oracle's gift for Cancer, please. To, wow, what is this on the floor business? Let's get them on the table. Okay, I'll pick this one up. Oh, wow, yeah, look, this landed on the floor. The two of cups, right? This is, yeah, see, this is about what you're putting in your cup. About what are you growing? What are you growing here? Being very, very mindful of that in every situation of your life, right? No matter what happens, be aware of your emotions and what it is that they could be actually... bringing into your life we also have the thunderbolt here wow very contrasting energies here so I just wonder if there's been a significant unexpected change potentially in your relationship or a relationship that you have had in your life at some point 
interesting too because out of this out of this cup here I'm seeing I don't know if you can see it but there's like these veins coming out here it reminds me of the lightning in here yeah see what are you putting in your cup are you brewing a storm hmm or is this the fear is this fear within you here cancer We've got this next card here, which is a perfect harmony. Imperfect harmony, sorry. I love this. Because this is this music that is coming out of you, right? But it's like the vibration. It's the vibration that is coming out of you. Into the world. This here reminds me of sort of a thunderbolt setting the forest on fire for some reason. I want to say here, Cancer, that when a, when a, when a forest burns, new, um, new trees sprout. Sometimes things have to burn in order for something new to be created. It's actually a natural cycle of life but it doesn't mean it's easy. So in this regard, if you've had that situation, trust or anger here is jumping out at me. Anxiety or peace, right? What is coming out of you here? Tell me more about imperfect harmony. Because this is the thing, if we want to create a particular life, we need to get in sync with the... Oh, look. Check it. Yeah, there we go. I love it. We want to get in sync with what it is that we want to bring in, right? That harmony, that harmony that was at the bottom of the deck before, right? We need to experience it within ourselves. We really do. One more card for in perfect harmony. Yeah, 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 looking at what it is that you want to grow. What do you want to grow? See, there's sort of this fear of, um, but if I grow it, there might be a bolt of lightning and it might burn down, you know, whatever it is I'm growing. So what's the point? I could go and do all that and then everything crumbles anyway, right? Like you're reading the crumbling. But you can live your life like that and then get to the end of your life and, and realise that you actually never lived. Because all the moments, see, the thunderbolt moment is a moment in time. It's a moment in time. It's not your whole entire existence. But we can make it our whole entire existence when we don't work through what it is that needs to be worked through. And we don't allow ourselves to rise up out of the ashes. And we don't replenish ourselves to grow this beautiful forest that will bear nutritious fruits, right? And this is really metaphorical for in our mind, you know, as well. Yeah, because look at this shining through. Now, this reminds me of this cup here. Look at the difference, right? There's only a little bit of a glimmer of hope here. But look at this shining through. Can you imagine what this is going to attract as opposed to this? Yeah? Getting in perfect harmony with what it is that you want in your life. Shining through, Cancer. Allowing yourself to open up to shine through because some of you are closed and... Um, this could definitely be in a relationship. Some of you are closed off out of fear because of this. <clears throat> this having happened or fear of it happening. Okay, so two cards for shining through. Tell me more about this, please. <clears throat> oh, wow, wow, wow. It's just everything's going on the floor. Huh? And there's four cards here, so we're going to take them all. Yeah, see, look at this, holding yourself down, suppressing yourself, right? Suppressing those emotions because you don't want to feel them. 
it's actually better to feel them to let them come up because they will they will just keep you down okay we have guidance here seeking out people who will um who will you know actually sorry i want to say some of you may need to get professional help okay but also understanding that you have your guides your angels but i feel like for some of you it needs to be someone in person that you need okay yes look the melting this ice away here you know you have been hurt you have been burned literally burned well not literally but it feels like that being burned so badly that it's like how do you how do you melt that ice that you have put around yourself for protection you melt it by by allowing the emotions that you have suppressed to come up because the warmth of your tears will melt the ice here cancer okay so this is incredibly important because there is a new beginning waiting for you a very passionate and fiery new beginning right and that scares the living daylights out of you you know this doesn't have to be that you've you've um you're not in relationship with anyone it doesn't you know this could be to do with work you may have had a terrible experience in your workplace and you're too afraid to go into something new because of what's happened before or to trust that oh this could actually be a great job for me it could be in friendships it could be anything you know it could even be within your own family okay but it doesn't mean to say that if this is an existing relationship of some sort it doesn't mean to say that it can't be healed okay but first and foremost we need to heal ourselves okay so the next card we have on whom am i placing the blame right now a person who blames others has not begun their lesson a person who blames themselves has begun their lesson a person who blames no one has finished their lesson wow okay so today's soul action is take responsibility on whom are you placing blame right now today free yourself by releasing all victimhood blame and resistance they don't belong where you are going only love and courage live there make a choice to do it even if you don't feel ready listen to your heart you will be led yes i love that yeah definitely dropping out down into that heart space right because it the mind will tell you a zillion stories but the heart will tell you one and it will lead you in the right direction okay so tell me more about this a blame card here for cancer please three cards on the table on the table would be good get all three on the table nice i don't know what it is thank you okay so this is the first card here and it is ears wide open listening listening ears wide open listening to your soul listening to your soul's call you know being very aware listening to your emotions listening to what is going on within you rather than everything outside of you listen to you listen to the thoughts in your head listen to how maybe it is that you are blaming others or blaming yourself you know getting to that mutual ground where no one's to blame it's kind of like that everyone's to blame and yet no one's to blame you know okay so tell me more up that was yeah okay ears wide open tell me more about this for cancer please the other two are upside down they're blended like that so i don't know what they are yet but i want to find out about this ears wide open inner voice yep inner voice listening to this inner voice here and letting go 
Yeah, this is the thing, you know, I think that inside of you here, Cancer, you have the answers as to what needs to let, be let go of, okay, and the best way to let go of that for you, okay, there are lots of different ways of letting go of things, because here's the thing, and this is what I have found um, during my journey, and as I go through this journey of healing, because we're all healing from something, we all have our stuff, and there's always healing to be done. There's always work to be done. The only time that that is done is when we cark it. We're not doing that anymore. Well, maybe we are even on the other side. You know, taking back the lessons we've learned for our soul's evolvement, for our soul family to learn from, you know. But anyhow, back to this. Um, you know, this is about you listening because you, when you really have your ears wide open, you, you will hear your soul speak to you because it's speaking to you now through this reading, right? Soul truth. This is the truth of your soul. This is why you are here to hear what it is that your soul wants to say to you, to what spirit wants to say to you. You know, so that this can help you along your journey. So tune in, allow that inner voice to speak. Tune in with your ears, tune in with your heart, tune in with your intuition, okay? And your instincts, your natural instincts, okay? Because this is what, I think it's a fox. This is what the fox does, right? They are listening for the smallest of sounds to know what its next move is to be. It uses its instincts and its intuition to make the next move. It's not up in its head going, oh, last time I stepped in that direction, this happened, so I'm not going to do that again, and I better not, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's not doing that. So in that regard... Knowing, knowing the best time to walk away. Knowing when you want to work on something and when you don't. Knowing when you need that peace and when you need to just be with you. Okay. Wow. Willing release. Yeah. See, look at this. Letting go again. This is beautiful. Letting go, this is going to create a transformation for you. These, there's something that you're holding on to here, Cancer, that you don't want to let go of, potentially. Because of the fear. You see, here's the thing with dandelions, right? We're blowing them. When we were kids, we used to blow on them and make a wish and let them be carried off into the universe and hope that our wish comes true. So this is what this is saying. Make a wish. Let it out into the universe. Let it out of you, right? Let that inner voice speak. This is what I wish for. This is what I want. What is it in my life that is not working to help that manifest, to help that be created? This is about you co-creating with your life, not just allowing things to happen by default. Yeah. Okay, so willing release. This is letting go of things consciously, you know, not just hoping, oh, given time, it'll get better. Time heals only so much, but unless we're doing the work, it's not going to be complete. It is not going to be complete. There's this kind of deception, this deception within yourself, I feel. Some of you maybe have a fear of being deceived, but there's something inside of yourself that you're not being honest with yourself about. And it's time for you to go into this um, sort of hermit mode to discover what that is. And I have a feeling there's a fear there. Okay, now we have endless possibilities. See, this is like this wishing upon the star, right? 
wishing blowing the dandelion and, and seeing where it lands and hoping it comes true endless possibilities see some of you may feel quite stuck like you don't have an option but when you truly believe there are lots of possibilities you see this is a new beginning a new beginning in something that you absolutely adore and love this is about you going with the flow and allowing that to come in moment to moment there's a decision that you need to make here and some of you feel like you're walking shaky ground um but i want to say again about this going within allowing this inner voice to speak to lead to let you know where the next um the next step needs to be made here ears wide open ears wide open right this I feel like the ears wide open is not just about the ears, it's about the, the entire, all your senses, right? Really paying attention to what is going on within you, okay? Do I surround myself with people who lift me up? Okay, the people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? Do they help you step into your greatest potential? This is These are great questions for you to work out what you are getting from external forces here, Cancer, because those absolutely impact everything that we do in our daily lives. So this is also a good reason to have your ears wide open. What are people telling you? What are those subliminal messages that are coming through? Are they encouraging you? Are they supporting you? Are they allowing you to step forward? Even if they're having to take a step back in order for you to step forward. Are they allowing that for you? Right? Okay, today's soul action. Make a desire list of the type of people with whom you wish to surround yourself. And clarify if there is anyone in your life who no longer serves you, can you love them from a distance? You see, this could be this letting go here. Maybe it's about who you need to let go of. Be aware of your emotions when you're around particular people as well. How you're feeling, just silently. You know, just be aware. Okay, so tell me more about the people who we surround ourselves with for cancer. All upside down, a tall tail. Mm. Being honest with yourself, right? This is Pinocchio sitting on a really big hat. What's under the hat? Again, Cancer, what are you covering up? What don't you want to see? Being honest with yourself here. You know, maybe these people around you who aren't being their authentic selves. And you can feel that. Maybe you can't quite put your finger on it, but you can feel it. Potentially. Okay, so tell me more about a tall tail for cancer, please. Oh, twice. Oh, it didn't quite stay, but interestingly enough, I've just noticed harmony has flipped up, but it didn't come out. So we'll leave that in there. We'll leave that in there, but still. Um, okay, so, okay. This is this internal battle here, right? Comparing yourself to others, potentially, or listening to others comparisons about you and what it is that you're doing whatever it is that you want to go ahead with really looking at how the people around you how they're reacting to that um and what, what emotions that stirs up inside you because for one thing that's going to tell you how they support you and whether they've got your back and another thing is those emotions are going to tell you potentially what it is that you might need to be working on right now. Especially if you feel like, oh, I can't do that because they're going to think this, you know. So, yeah, allowing yourself to step out of the cage. Some people want you in this cage here, Cancer. Be aware of that. Some people want you in the cage while they go and fly about. Who is willing to allow you to fly? Who is willing, Cancer, to be the wind beneath your wings? Who is there encouraging you? 
who is there calling you, going, come on, cancer, you can do it. We're here. Fear. Fear. Wish upon a star. See, this is it. Cancer, you have so much. I feel like there's so much inside of you that you want to do. But there's, there's excuses. It's the only word that will come to me. I'm trying to I've asked for another word. Excuses. Full stop. Exclamation point. Excuses. There is no reason for you not to fulfill your dreams. Except for excuses. I'll just pick this card up. Okay. Look at this. Celebration. Look at this. Cancer. Wish upon a star. Right? Anything is possible. You just have to believe it. You have to believe in yourself. Give yourself what it is that you need. See how it is that people around you are mirroring you. Be honest with yourself. Look at yourself honestly. Know that you can have all the love in the world. Right? Not just in a relationship, but in friendships as well. If there are people who are not jumping in the puddles with you when it's raining, celebrating your successes, trying to pull it down, trying to be like, oh yeah, you know, Auntie Jane, she had she had that happen and this happened and you know, and then they rain on your parade, right? If they are not jumping in those puddles celebrating you, if they are not looking at you in a loving way saying, I support you and I am proud of you, then it's time for you to surround yourself with those who do. And the last card here is Roots of Abundance. Roots of Abundance. Yes. This is solid. This is absolutely 100% solid. It's going to take time to grow. Yes. But it's something that cannot be broken. And this is the power you have to create this for yourself. But if you're feeling like, oh, I don't know if I can, you know, it's going to, it's it's not, it's about locking it in, really locking it in, letting those roots take, take um, anchor into the earth, anchoring that in so it can't be shaken by the strongest of winds, by the most toughest storms, it will remain, right? This is in your power here, Cancer. So take it. Two cards for Roots of Abundance for Cancer, please. And this is growing something solid. You know, um, growing something that is going to bring you everything that you ever, ever dreamed of. And this is why this dream here, this wish upon the star, you know, um, this is why this is coming out here, right? Don't pollute the air that you're trying to grow this in, okay, with your mind. Remember, dropping into the heart, building a solid foundation, right? Being very, very cautious of that. And look at the last card here, the dream. Keep your focus on the dream, Cancer. Remember what it is that you're trying to build because there is a goal. There is an end goal. And while you might be here right now, the goal is here and it is possible. And it's up to you to create it because that is what is in your power. Okay, Cancer, I am going to leave that with you. You take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.